Our goal is to use this technology so that these patients, like Ian, can be more in charge of their lives and can be more independent. What our device does is it takes data directly from the brain, so it creates what we call a neural bypass from the brain over the injured part of the spinal cord and back down to the forearm, uh, bridging over that, that injury and actually reanimating his paralyzed leg. When we first hooked everything up, you know, for the first time of being able to move my hand, it was a big shock because, you know, it's something that I haven't, hadn't moved in about three and a half years at that point. Now it's more of something where I expect it to move. We're thrilled that um, Ian has progressed significantly with this technology over the past year. And uh, this really provides hope, uh, we believe, for many patients in the future. This will allow uh, the millions of patients around the world who are living with paralysis get back to a level of independence that they had before the injury. The biggest dream would be to get full function of my hand back, both my hands. You know, because then that allows you to be a lot more independent and not have to rely on people for kind of simple day-to-day -day tasks that you take for granted.